What's up guys, if you're watching this video, chances are you have a blog or you're about to start one. But dealing with images in your blog can be a real headache. With everything in the world protected by copyright, it can be hard for a beginner to find visually appealing content that matches the overall style of your blog. Well, not anymore, because in today's video I'm going to show you how I create images for my blog um, and social media such as Pinterest with AI in minutes. Hopefully we'll take the burden off your shoulder today. Let's start. So without further ado, here's my recent blog post. I need several images for it. Um, I need a picture of the typical outfit from the 1920s, then a pic of the flapper outfit, the gangster look, um, and the Hollywood look. So I'm going to try go and create those images in Canva AI image generator. I don't yet have a specific visual style for my blog, so I want the images just to be nice and to illustrate the article. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a template, um, 1000 by 1500. That's an ideal size for Pinterest. I'm doing this to easily repurpose my content for Pinterest later. By the way, if you're still not using using Pinterest in your content marketing strategy, check out this video where I list a lot of reasons why Pinterest is a gold mine and why you need to explore this visual discovery engine and include it in your marketing strategy. So now that I have a template, I go to um, Elements, AI Image Generator and generate uh, your own. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste the description of the typical outfit from my article into Canva. I love the style of fashion illustration, so I'm going to try and add it to the prompt. So I want it um, to draw an image as a fashion illustration in this style. I'm excited. These are quite nice. Overall, really not bad. There are two things that I would change uh, on this picture. First of all, I wanted to picture just one person. And second, I don't want a square image. I want it to be the size of the pin. So let's see if it's going to generate what I need. Bummer, it's only supporting square pictures at the moment, but uh, that's not a problem. I can just set it as a background here and it's going to be the size of my pin. Okay, so I have uh, an image of a typical outfit from the 1920s and now I want an image of the flapper look. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste the description of the flapper dress. And I'm going to specify that I only need one person to be on that image. And I still want it to be similar to a fashion illustration. Well, this definitely looks as if they were drawn with a pencil. And I really love this one. Look at that. Fabulous illustration. I'm definitely saving it, although it's not what I imagined and not what I needed for this illustration. So I'm going to keep on creating those illustrations and trying uh, to regenerate them. And yet it doesn't want to draw a single person on that image. While I was generating this, I thought the blog post is about a great Gatsby party, going to such a party. So it's really about festive and flamboyant a mood and maybe the images should reflect this too. So let's try and get it create something more festive like this. Well, take a look at that. And after several iterations, I finally got an image with one woman in a flapper dress. That's definitely another style, not what I had in the beginning, but uh, it's pretty good for my needs right now. And I want to continue with a gangster look. With a gangster look, I actually was struggling to make it draw a woman because it was just drawing man, which probably makes sense as not a lot of women wore this type of outfits. So it probably doesn't have references in its database. But at some point I generated a few nice pictures. For instance, this one, absolutely relevant to the topic of this article, but definitely beautiful. And yeah, you know, they're not perfect. Um, they're sometimes, sometimes they're good and sometimes you can see the flaws. The eyes don't look like real eyes. And I, but I guess, but I guess this technology will definitely be improving just gradually. And finally, let's generate a picture of the Hollywood look. A long gown with gloves, a fur stole, beaded clutch. And that's the one I was struggling with for a while. For some reason, when I started this, I thought this one will be easier to generate. But they were all far from perfect. 
Finally, I thought maybe I could use this one. That's really not what I needed, um, nor what I expected. And remember that with Canva Magic Studio, you can remove um, some objects from the picture. Like if you only want one woman on the picture, you can try to generate this picture. But if that is not working, you can just remove um, unnecessary objects by using a magic eraser. And I guess with this kind of fashion illustrations, um, it should work good. Yeah, it looks more or less good. And it seems like I'll be using this picture. If that was a little experiment, I hope you learned something new today. Um, you can try to generate um, your blog images with Canva. One of the biggest takeaways from this experiment was that I, I realized that I need to describe, um, to set the style of my website. As soon as I have it described in words, in prompts, it will be much easier to generate consistent, visually appealing images. Overall, I'm happy with the result because I got several really nice pictures that I could use and I only spent like 10 minutes on generating them. Let me know what you think about Canva AI Image Creator in the comments. I hope this video was useful and if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next week.